Hello summoners. I am the heavy Jesus, and this is my top lane Gragas guide. Gragas has really good AP scaling on his abilities, so building him like a squishy mage is most definitely a viable way to build Gragas. But do you realize that Gragas also has the ability to wreck bruiser top laners? He has all the tools he needs to counter almost every popular top laner. Taking a look at his skills, you see that his passive restores health based on a percentage. This means he scales well with health throughout the game, and later on when you spam your skills like crazy. This means you will have a mundo passive 6 times more potent in the latter game. Gragas Q rolls a barrel that deals heavy burst damage, and also slows the enemy's attack speed. Meaning auto attack duels with certain enemies will roll in your favor. His W causes him to have massive AD and damage reduction boost, and with some cooldown reduction this can be kept up permanently. Pair this with your Q's attack speed reduction and auto attack trades become laughably easy. His E is a relatively low cooldown dash that slows all enemies you hit. With this you can easily escape a gank. Start an engagement. Chase enemies. Walk to lane faster. Jump over thin walls. Pretty much anything you can think of in terms of being slippery and maneuverable. His ultimate is a giant fucking explosive barrel. Use this to force engage, disengage, mass enrage, great escape, massive rape, land reshape, save your carry, kill gen carry, and... I think that's it. Oh. And to preform murder. It's good for that too. So how do you actually play this guy? Well, basically level 1 to 3. You first get drunk off your ass, then you get your dash, and then you max your barrel blaster. From how you act in lane, you should seek to annoy your enemy by using your barrel blast on creeps and your enemy laner in the same barrel. You should note that your barrel moves slowly. Slowly. So wait until your enemy gets closer or has to stop up. Looking at your own creeps, when they get low and your enemy goes in for a last hit, you should throw a barrel on top of it so they have to back off or guarantee a hit on them. If the enemy is completely disconnected from his own creeps, then you can dash into him to solo damage him and not split damage on the creeps around him. In general you should just deny the enemy last hits by placing your fat ass on them to force them off. Trindamir wants farm. Huh. No up. Stay back Trindamir. Fiora never spoils her appetite. She knows better than to engage Gragas. Doesn't she? Apparently not. Noob Lord. Noob Lord. Noob Lord. Noob Lord. Noob Lord. There are two builds I recommend for Gragas. A slightly more offensive build, where you go 921-0, and a more defensive and sustainy build, where you go 0264. Why so weird? Well, you get extra points to max out a couple stats in the defensive tree. And so that you can get improved mana regeneration. Which is a problem Gragas faces when constantly using his skills. As a rule of thumb, if your playstyle favors aggression and you'd rather murder your enemy as much as possible, get ignite and go offensive with a red pot. Then go fuck up your enemy level 2 with a red pot and proceed to reenact the movie Legend of the Drunken Master with Jackie Chan. One more drink would be helpful. Here is the very last bottle! You, get up! Monkey drinks master's wine. <laughs> <laughs>
If you don't plan on insta-killing your enemy, or you're facing an enemy you can't trade with or will sustain your damage, and you need to outsustain, or need more tankiness going into latter game, go with a 0264 and take teleport, starting with heavy sustain builds like Chris Reline Flask, Cloth 5, or the Rajab Bead 6 pot with a ward, if you're afraid of the enemy jungler. The keyword for this build is perseverance. Under normal circumstances, your first items will be Kindler Gym and Sheen. It'll give enough cooldown to keep up your W nearly constantly. And Sheen will give AP for your abilities and bonus damage on your auto attack, adding to your burst in multiple ways. Then, depending on whether you're facing an AP top or an AD top, you will build your Sheen into Iceborne Gauntlet, or your Kindler Gym into Spirit Visage. Both these items build out of what you have already, so you save space for other items, and will give you another 10% CDR, letting you keep your W up permanently. Either way, after you get one of these items, you'll get the other one right after. Your core kit will be Iceborne Gauntlet, Spirit Visage, and Mercury's Treads. These amplify everything good with Gragas kit and gives balanced defensive and defensive stats. All items after the core build are dependent on your playstyle and the situation. But if you are running with the 9-21 offensive build another core item will be the Blade of the Ruined King. If you are running the defensive build, skip this item. Now that you know about the build and how to play, it's time for some tips and tricks. Gragas abilities cost a lot of mana. Early game you should try to only use your abilities when you need them. Or at least save up enough mana to use your ulti dash to get away from ganks. The easiest way to die is not having mana to dash out and overstaying your welcome. Save your ultimate for two situations, if you can kill your enemy without effort. Use it to force an engagement and kill your enemy whenever you can to keep them from even being in the game. If not, save it to keep yourself safe from enemy engagements and jungle ganks. The easiest way to guarantee a barrel hit is to dash into the enemy and throwing barrels at the ground. That way the barrel has minimal travel time. If you take teleport, take advantage of the other lanes if they have pushed up, and teleport down to grab free kills. If you have teleport you should take advantage of your wava clearing ability and free AD to take towers. That's all I have to say about my Gragas. If you have anything you want to comment on regarding this build put that in the comments and feel free to give your own tips after you've played it. If you found this guide useful give me a like and subscribe. More guides will come in the future. Good luck summoners. Go forth, drinks are on me. Yeah.